Hey, what's going on? My name is Nathan and I'm the Chief Eradicating Officer at No Label Defines Me Coaching and I coach you to eradicate loneliness so you can find true authentic connection in your life. And right now, many of us are isolated in our homes. Uh, if that's you, you know you're not alone. But sitting there all alone, uh, maybe you've been laid off from your job, maybe you've been furloughed, or maybe you're navigating the stress of trying to implement all this technology at one time. And that's got you feeling like you are alone uh, in your current circumstance. If that's you, this video is for you because I want to offer you 12 questions that you get to ask you about your relationships in your life. Because connection is all about <clears throat> relationships, whether they're with your family, whether they're with your friends, whether they're with significant others, whether they're with coworkers. Relationships make up the connections in your life. And I want to offer it from two perspectives. We're going to dive into a couple of worksheets I've got and ask you 12 questions about your relationships with yourself and with others. So let me share the screen and we'll dive in. All right, so the first most important relationship that you have is the relationship with yourself and this is a beautiful opportunity to take some time and reflect on your relationship with you so let's dive in you get to ask yourself these questions so pull out a pen uh, type it on your phone whatever way you want to reflect on these questions go ahead and get that ready and so number one question if you were writing a dictionary, the word relationship would be defined as, so how do you define relationship? And you can do this several different ways. You can define it as your relationship with yourself. You can define it as romantic relationships. You can define it as uh, friendships. You can define it as relationships with your kids whatever uh, you want to define separately, go ahead and write those down and figure out what it means to you uh, to be in relationship in all those different areas of your life. Because chances are each one of those has a different uh, meaning and has different sets of rules that you go by to meet the requirement of that relationship. Uh, number two, on a scale of one to ten, how happy are you right now with your relationship with you? One, not so much. You're not feeling it right now. And ten, uh, as T.O. once said, T.O. loves some T.O. So if you're a ten, you love you some you. And if you're a one, I want you to know that's okay because you're at the foundation and now we get to build up. We get to work towards the 10 and that's what these questions are for, to build up from the bottom up. So if you're a one, don't worry about it. And if you're a 10, great work and keep it going remember that we won't be there forever. It's like riding waves. We go back and forth because that's part of being human. So next question, number three. Uh, and if you are on your lower end, I think that this will help you a lot to raise your number when you figure out this question for yourself. So What's that thing that you've got that's weighing you down that you get to forgive yourself for? What's that thing that you're carrying around that you are ready 
to let go of because it's time to let it go. It's time to forgive yourself because that thing will get you stuck. It will make you feel like you're drowning and it will make you not able to move forward. And you get to forgive yourself for it because that is not a defining thing for you. It does not define who you are. So what is that thing you get to take time to forgive yourself for today? Now, what are five things that you love about you? It could be your sense of humor. It could be how kind you are. It could be your ability to show empathy. It could be uh, how good of a friend you are. But what are five things that you love about you? Maybe it's a sense of humor. Maybe it is your ability to problem solve. The world needs a lot of that today. So what are five things that you love about you? So looking back at your one to 10, wherever you are, what are five ways that you can improve that number for yourself? What are five ways you can improve your relationship with you? Maybe it means taking more time to read. Maybe it means taking time to write and alleviate some of those emotions you're feeling. I don't know what it is for you, but you know what it is for you. So what are those five things that you get to do to improve your relationship with you? And then finally on our relationship with you section, what's the one thing that you do better than anybody that you don't give yourself enough credit for? Maybe it's your ability to show up. Maybe it's your ability to motivate people. Maybe it's your ability to allow people to be heard and not feel judged. But what's that thing that you do better than anyone that you don't give yourself enough credit for? I'd love to hear what that is for you. If you leave a comment uh, below when you get done watching this video, what is that thing for you? All right, so we've talked about your relationship with you. Now we're gonna switch uh, the thing to be your relationship with others. So we talked about you and you, and now we're talking about you and others. So if you are talking to people in your life that you've had relationships with, how would they describe me making them feel in three words. I know I'm switching the words around, but that's okay. So how would people that you've had relationships with in your life describe how you've made them feel in three words? Do you make them feel happy? Do you make them feel important? Do you make them feel like they matter? What words would they use to describe how you make them feel? Then looking at that, on a scale one to 10, how happy are you with the responses that came to your mind? And remember to do this, just let what comes come and don't put any judgment on it or anything. It's just becoming aware of where you are and what's coming up for you in the moment because this is always fluid. So on a scale one to 10, thinking about those words that your friends use to describe you, how happy are you with those? All right, so now you know where you stand right there. If you are in the middle, like five or below, you know you've got a lot of stuff that you can improve on. And as we move forward, you'll know things you can do to make that happen. So next question, the way that you want to show up for people is how? 
how do you want to show up for people in the world? And right now is so important to know how you want to show up in the world because the world needs you. The world needs leaders. The world needs people that can solve problems and can make people feel seen, heard, and valued during this time of uncertainty when we're trying to navigate things that we've never seen before. So how do you want to show up in the world? That's another one. I'd love to know that in the comments, how you would love to show up in the world right now. How are three uh, ways you can improve to create that version of you showing up in the world? How can you improve in three ways to make that happen? Maybe it means a new skill. Maybe it means getting outside of your comfort zone and using your voice. Maybe it means just being there for people in need. Maybe it means being uncomfortable and getting on the phone more than you used to. I don't know what that looks like for you, but you know what that looks like for you. Um, now, this is so important. These last questions here are so important because you are starting to set boundaries with these questions. Um, when you think about your relationship with other people, what relationships, what type of relationships do you want to remove yourself from? So I want to remove myself from relationships that what? What do they do? What type of relationships leave you drained? What type of relationships don't, uh, don't lift you up? What type of relationships must you remove yourself from to become the best version of yourself? Now, in today's world, I think this is something that we are all striving to figure out. We are all adapting, and this is changing every moment, every day right now. So my definition of safety and connection is because that is what really matters in today's world. So how do you define those two things? How do you define safety and how do you define connection? Once you know how you define those two things, you can start to take action that match those definitions. How do you define it? And then last question, looking at your current relationships on a scale one to 10, uh, how filled are they with safety and connection? On a scale one to 10, how safe and how connected do you feel in your current relationships? It's so important to know where you stand and to actually have your story of what you want in relationships in your life. So you've answered all these questions for yourself and now I want you to tell the story. So on a separate sheet of paper like this, I want you to pull it out and I want you to tell the story of your future relationships. So who will you become? How will you feel? Who will you be with? And I want you to really envision what that looks like. Take all your senses and create that and create your structure from the answers you created for yourself. I'd love to hear what you create. I'd love to hear how helpful you found these questions. And uh, let me get off here. And if there's anything I can do to support you in this time, if you are feeling lonely, if you are feeling overwhelmed, and you really want support in creating authentic connection with yourself, reach out to me 
and we will have a conversation about how we can make that happen. If you found this valuable, please share it with a friend um, and let them know that they matter to you. Thanks so much for joining and I can't wait to see what happens when you start to create the relationships you want in your life. Remember my friends, you must lead, you must love, and you must listen. You're up to big things, and when you're up to big things, you must be patient, you must be diligent, and you must never, never quit.